Nigel, we've travelled to the West Midlands today to Carbex. Can you fill us in a little bit? Tell us a bit about your company. Yeah, uh, good morning, Joe. Uh, started in the year 2000, April the 1st, ironically. Um, just felt there was a niche to do what we're doing with specials and awkward cutting tools at the time. Um, I've got a few contacts from, I've been in the industry for some years. Um, sort of cherry picked one or two and away we went. And frankly, we've never looked back. So looking at some of the work you do here, it, it looks pretty difficult. Do you just take on the stuff that nobody else wants? It feels like that, Joe, to be honest. Um, sometimes we get easy jobs, but more often than not, they are awkward. Um, tolerances are getting tighter. Um, expectations getting higher and greater. I'm confident of that. So, yeah, the next step for new machinery was something we had to do. And I know you've been using CNC technology for quite some years now, but you know, you've upped your game, you've bought an anchor. Why did you go for the anchor? Lots of reasons, really. We, we, like, we like the setup. They're local. If we had a problem, I'm confident we could get in the car. We've only got to drive to Coventry. Um, it's a small footprint. Uh, we've got limited space, but the flexibility is phenomenal. Uh, and it just felt right. So you've been in the game a, a long time, like you say. What is it on this machine? What's the differentiator? What makes this machine so good? It's, it's just really clever. It thinks in a clever way. Um, stuff that we had to really battle to do in the past and would spend hours doing. We'd get there, but it would take us hours. This machine can just do in the software. It's programmable. Um, it's absolutely, it's genius. So is this an example of something that used to be made on another CNC machine? Yeah, to be honest, Joe, we've done this sort of tool forever. Um, it's, it's kind of a, just a profiling form tool, but where you've got clearance angles down the back of the tool, we've done them on the old machines, but we had to do it in profile with a DXF drawing, and it would take us hours to get it right. We'd get there, but now we can do this in cycle, in the program, and of course, the simulation shows us what we're gonna get before we make it. That's something we've never, ever had. So you've mentioned programming a couple of times. How easy is the anchor to program? Well, the, the difference between this and what we've always done in the past is that we're programming this on the laptop. The old machines, it was always done on the, on the control panel, and it was, to a certain extent, a lot of guesswork. And this software, I understand you actually won this software. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a great story, to be honest. Um, out of the blue, I just entered a, like a global sales uh, qu a questionnaire on the internet. Uh, I never do that sort of thing, and I won the European package, uh, which was two uh, parts to the software. It was the 3D simulator and their tool draft, and they work hand in hand. But the 3D simulator, which is on the laptop alongside us, that is where Chris programs offline, so he gets an, an indication of what he's going to get before he even starts to grind. And of course, you've got collision check on this, which we've never had in the past. So it's great that you've won, it's a great story, but could you do without it now? If you had to buy it, would you buy it? To be honest, yes, I would have to buy it. Now I've seen it, we couldn't do without it. In the FX5 linear, I know you've enjoyed the machine, but how did the installation, how was the sales process with Anchor? Unbelievable. Uh, the machine was on the low loader on the Monday morning. By Wednesday night, we would got grinding tools going on. And by Thursday, we would got our first paying job off it. And we haven't looked back. Uh, anchor have been absolutely superb. And you've recently moved to this unit. You know, if I was the anchor, if I was Adrian, I'd be thinking there's, there's room for more machines in here. Do you think that would be an anchor in the future? I, I can't see why it wouldn't be. Um, the idea is that you've got several machines the same and then you can train everybody up so you've got cover on everything. That is the ultimate goal. Um, at the moment, it's difficult with one new machine with one new type of controller on. Uh, the other lads are only trained on the other machines, but that will come in time. Uh, I'm quietly confident of that. So when you buy these modern machines, they've all got their individual little features. What features do you like on the FX5? Well, one of the basic things with the differences with this machine is the way we're prepping wheels. Um, in the old days, we were dry dressing, um, hand measuring everything. This machine, it's, it's dressed in cycle, in the oil, in the machine, and then the wheel is probed uh, by the machine. It knows everything about that wheel and the difference that makes to the quality of the finished tool and how quickly you get to that finished item is unbelievable. 
And some of these components, so, you know, these tools, they look very complicated. How long does a typical job take to program? I know it's offline, so you're not interrupting the machine anyway, but how long does it take? It's a difficult question to answer, to be honest. 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour. It just depends. If the machine likes what you're asking it to do, you'll get there a lot quicker. But if it's trying to do something awkward and it's got to think hard, you might have to find another way of doing it. And that is, it's not unusual to have to do that. And just finally, to conclude, you've gone for the linear, and I must say that the surface finish is stunning. Absolutely brilliant. Um, really, really pleased. You know, it sounds nice when it's grinding and the quality is brilliant. We've definitely stepped up the ladder with this.